Welcome to the end of your lazy girl era. Yes, that's right, I said it. If you've been feeling unmotivated or stuck, this is the video for you. So go ahead, grab your coffee, your tea, your notebook, and let's get you out of that funk. Hey friend, welcome to the Constant Sheik YouTube channel. I'm Kathleen, and I'm so glad you decided to click on this video because we're talking about getting out of our own way. Listen, we've all been there. In this video are just a few things that have helped me move forward in seasons where I felt like I don't know what's going on I don't know what to do next like where am I going so if you've been feeling lost or discouraged let this be your sign that this does not have to be the end you can move forward you can reach your dreams and let this be your pep talk to get you where you need to be let's get into it first things first feeling stuck is normal we've all been there we've all had moments and seasons where they felt more difficult where we didn't know what to do or how to move forward or how to get out of a specific situation so first thing I want you to do is just be okay with where you're at and knowing that it's normal there's nothing wrong with you there might be some things that you just need to tweak in your life and we're gonna talk about them in this video but this is normal when you're feeling stuck it can feel super overwhelming or discouraging or like it will never end but i also want to do a little note that feelings are not facts often feelings are not reality they're just our interpretation of reality or the effects that reality is having on us which again is not necessarily what's really going on so first thing i want you to do or second thing i should say is understand that feelings are not real but that they are important and they're just signaling to you that something is off and something needs to change. And when you think about being stuck, you're really not stuck unless you stop. If you keep taking small steps forward, technically, you're still moving. And the first thing you wanna ask yourself is, where do I feel stuck? Is it my entire life? Is it an area of my life? Is it a project that I'm feeling stuck in? Is it a goal? Where am I feeling stuck? And also you wanna ask yourself, why do I feel stuck? Because once you've determined what area it is, the why behind this, this feeling of stuckness, I don't know if that's a word, but we'll make it a word for today. This feeling of stuckness, understanding why you feel the way that you do, will also help you see if this reason is grounded in reality or if it's grounded maybe in your own emotional state. Because sometimes we'll feel like we're stuck because we're really negative and we are really coming down on ourselves and we are having so many doubts which really only stem from our own understanding of the situation and that might not be a reflection of reality. So I really want you to look at your self-talk. Do you speak to yourself negatively? Do you have a woe is me attitude, glass half empty attitude? Because we need to flip that. We need to bring you into that glass half full, positive self-talk, believing in yourself, believing that, hey, you're not a tree. If you don't like where you are, you can move or you can make changes. Obviously, not everyone has the freedom, let's say, to change everything. Let's say if you have an aging parent, you can't make your parent young all of a sudden. But you can change the way you see the situation and what you're able to do and the resources that you go after in order to help care for them. So on why do you feel stuck? Identifying what the roadblocks might be. Are they circumstantial? Are they geographical? Is it that there are no jobs in your specific field in the city that you live in? Is the reason why you're feeling stuck a lack of self-esteem and a lack of confidence? And I did a video on confidence if you want to check it out and help you boost your confidence. I hope you find it helpful. Figuring out why you feel stuck will really help you get unstuck. And I recommend you journal through all of that. This is not something that you want to sit and just think about. This is something that you really want to write down and hash out and figure out what is going on when it comes to the where you're feeling stuck, why you're feeling stuck, you wanna journal those things. And I'll link a journal in the description box below, but any journal, any notebook will do. It doesn't have to be something specific. And you want to take the time to really assess that for yourself. Once you've figured out why you're feeling stuck, then you wanna move on to saying, okay, what do I want out of life? Or what do I want out of this area of my life? What would it take for me to not feel stuck there? What would it take for me to feel like I'm actually making forward motion and that I'm actually 
living out what I think I should be and removing this feeling of being lost or this feeling of uneasiness from me. Something that's really gonna help you figure out what you want or what you should be pursuing is really seeking God and asking him through prayer, what should I be doing? What is the vision for my life? Because if you don't have a vision, then you don't have a goal. You're not aiming for anything. And for sure, in those circumstances, you're gonna feel stuck at times. There are two passages in the Bible about vision, which I think are so powerful. One of them is, write the vision and make it plain so again that journal that I told you about that's where you write the vision and you can also do a vision board I am a vision boarder now I started a year ago so I just did my second one I did a whole video about it if you want to check that out and do your own vision board it's never too late to do a vision board you don't have to do it in January you could do it at any point in the year and then the other verse is where there's no vision the people perish and it just goes to show how important vision is. So you want to really dial that in and know what that is for yourself. Is it that I need to move to a different city and start taking the steps to move so I can get out of this market that really is not for me because there's nothing in my field here or nothing for the dreams that I'm trying to accomplish? Or is it that I need to get more knowledge, maybe invest in a course or go back to school or do more research online because what's really getting me stuck is the, find that I, is the fact that I feel ill-equipped for this it's the fact that i feel like i don't have the resources or the knowledge maybe it's seeking out a mentor who can help you navigate this area of your life or even therapy and seeing someone that can help you work through your emotions it's really important to figure out what you need in order to make a move and then you have to make that move baby you gotta make that move it's all about action from here once you figured out what you need then you go and get what you need and put those things into action this channel is all about the fun lifestyle girly things like fashion beauty free travel but also how to level up glow up and live your best life so if you're into that type of content subscribe and join the tribe and also click the notification so you don't miss any of my updates. Now that you've started taking action towards what your goal is, towards getting unstuck, it's really important to be okay with people seeing you trying. That's one thing that when you're feeling stuck, you have to be okay with things not being perfect and just them taking some forward motion. That's the most important thing when you wanna get unstuck. There's a quote that I love that says, perfectionism is the mother of procrastination. And if you are stuck sometimes, it's because you're in this loop of perfectionism that won't, it has you in a chokehold and it won't let you go. But you have to free yourself and say, you know what, it's okay if whatever I, it is that I'm doing is not perfect at first. It's okay if I get better with time. I'll use my YouTube channel as an example and I won't even go back to back in the day. Just go back to my fresh start video. I do believe that this video, the lighting, the video quality is better already and it's just been a few weeks or maybe a couple of months and I've already made progress because when I decided to do that video and post every single week, I knew that I would just get better with time and it's okay for people to see you trying. It's okay for your first iteration to maybe not be the best, but as long as you're focused and that you decide that, you know what, every week I'm gonna get better or every time I show up, I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna refine my skills. I'm gonna continue to grow. It's okay to take people along on that journey with you. You. So free yourself from perfectionism and really focus on taking the next step. Don't overwhelm yourself. That's another really important part is to take things one at a time, one moment at a time, one day at a time, one task at a time, whatever is specific to what you're trying to get unstuck out, get unstuck from. <laughs> whatever you're trying to move forward is to take things one step at a time, small bites and not overwhelm yourself. All that to say, relax in this process remember that slow progress is still progress and it's okay for you not to get it all at once last but not least you want to track your progress and celebrate your wins in one of my videos i think it's the confidence one i shared that i'm not a good celebrator I'm not good at celebrating wins or stopping in time and I'm trying to get better at that. And that's a really important thing that I want you to do is to track your progress, maybe in the same journal that you used earlier that I talked about. 
Back, how you're doing, how you're progressing, and celebrate when you actually hit those milestones. And they don't have to be big milestones either. You can decide what those milestones are for you so it can keep you going. You can treat yourself to something special when you do reach whatever goal, whatever increment, whatever it is. You decide how you wanna celebrate, when you wanna celebrate, and how often you want to do it. But make sure you celebrate because that will keep you going and it'll put fuel in your fire to keep going and to keep moving forward. And then all you have to do is take everything that I said today, rinse and repeat for every area of your life where you feel stuck or any project you feel stuck in or if it's life or if it happens five years from now, save this video somewhere so you can refer back to it to get you unstuck and just go through that process. And I promise you, it will change your life. I want you to come back to me and tell me how you were able to get unstuck and move forward and to reach the things that you wanna do for your life. And make sure you share those with me or even share them with the people in your life so they can celebrate you. And I would love to celebrate you, so let me know. Okay, let me know. Before I let you go, I have to give you some next steps, a little homework for you to do so that we make sure that this goes from the screen to the real world. I want you to go through this process. Take an area of your life or a project or a goal where you feel stuck and go through the steps. Figure out why you feel stuck, what it is that you need, and then take action on those things. I want you to do this for the next 30 days. Focus on one thing. If you feel like you can juggle multiples, I'll leave that to your discretion, but I would recommend you focus on one thing for the next 30 days and to move forward in that thing following this process. And then make sure you check back in, let me know how it went. If you wanna let me know what area you're going to tackle, which one you're going to start with, feel free to let me know. You can let me know in the comments. You can also let me know personally, just send me a message, DM me. I would love to be on this journey with you and help you in any way that I can. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also share it with a friend whom you think it would be helpful to so they can also level up because you don't wanna be at the top by yourself. Who wants that? You wanna take your friends along with you. So make sure you share it with them. And I just wanna leave you with this little quote that I think is so powerful. There are people less qualified than you who are doing what you wanna do simply because they decide to believe in themselves that'll preach every single time so believe in yourself continue to grow and until my next video I post every single week by the way until my next video remember to stay conscious and chic bye